So he's got a longer video, so I'm not going to really do a preamble beforehand. This Adrian Wilson just committed to Colorado, Neon Dion, and the Fighting Buffs. Um, I'm very confused on the whole Colorado thing because I thought he had said that he was leaving after Shadur was getting drafted. Shador. But, I mean, they're still taking commitments. And not going to lie, they've actually been getting kids this year. I mean, you remember last year, it was like, I think they had something like five kids commit to the program. Uh, they had the one Jordan seat in the tackle. But besides that, they've been more of a like a transfer portal type team, which is it's kind of funny how you can do that now and just like totally neglect high school recruiting and still feel the roster just by taking transfers. But they're having a good season. You know, very easy to hate on, but they've got some good football players there. So, this kid just committed, I want to say this weekend, I guess he was at the game or something. Uh, he's listed at 6 foot on 24-7, 6 two on his huddle. It's Adrian Wilson. In uh, Fu Fuglerville, Fuglerville, Texas. Feiglerville. He's got a good-looking frame. He's not real long. Uh, yeah, six foot, but he's not one of those skinny six foot. You know, he's a pretty well put together. This is junior year highlight tape. You know, you watch some of these kids and they just look like like string beans. But this kid takes the weight room serious, or at least more serious than some of these other other recruits I've watched in years past. A uh, real good burst off the line. Um, having that makes your whole job a lot easier. You ain't got to be that fast at 20 yards if you're that fast off the line, right? But looked like he just blew past that kid right there. Make block. Oh, no. During the ball, like it was a loaf of bread. Can't believe he held on to that. See what I mean, though? Like, right off the line, uh, I haven't really seen all that much yet, but no wasted motion. He was open in, like, a half second. I run the scramble drill here, or that was an actual double, uh, double, double move. I don't know. I wasn't even paying attention. See that catch? Oh. It's so funny. All these kids I watch, like, I'm obviously watching the better recruits. I'm not really watching that many three stars or whatever. I've seen some crazy ass catches. Which is like, how the hell do they even bring that in? These kids are in high school. I mean, he caught that other one over the kid's head. Almost looked like the. I don't even know. But like I'm saying that, that's probably the fifth best catch I've seen this uh, recruiting cycle. <laughs> I think it's just crazy how much the, the sport's growing. Um, like you watch like highlights of not even just the NFL, but whatever, from like 20, 30 years ago. I feel like some of these high school kids are better athletes. And I know I know it sounds like I'm talking out of my ass, but... Obviously, dudes like Barry Sanders and all that would be generational, regardless of what generation they're in. But what some of these high school kids can do, and it's just evolution of the sport, I guess. Game's not really played between the tackles the way it used to be anyway. I mean, you watch the old high school and all that, it ran the wing tee. was a dot from the quarterback.
Yo, this quarterback's low key nice. Receiver's good too. <laughs> the kid I'm here to watch. Um, just like some of these throws, like, oh my god. Yo, who is this kid? Hold on. Quarterback's Jax Brown. I just looked it up. He's committed, uh, committed to New Mexico State. Come on. That's a good call right there. I, I could tell this kid was a D1 kid. Just, I mean, he's kind of putting the ball in good spots there. A lot of times, uh, you know, these, these big receiver recruits don't really have the... He had an Arizona State offer also, which nothing to sneeze at season they're having. Um, what the hell was the point I was trying to... Some of these receivers, is, they don't got good quarterbacks in high school, but... It's good to see, like, kind of having that connection. <laughs> That was a nice move right there. He's got some, uh, some, I don't want to say twitch, but some twitch to him. And I don't mean that in the sense of, like, usually when you say twitch, you talk about, like, a defensive lineman, him coming off the ball. I kind of mean more just some wiggle. We haven't really seen him in a whole lot of uh, run-after-the-catch type situations. It's been more, like, down the field, you know. It's kind of crazy the route tree this kid's running. Like, you watch these top these top dogs in high school. You kind of see him run exclusively like goes and crossers. But he's got, he kind of ran the whole route tree there. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a four on the frame. Um, like I said, he's not it's he's not like a big-ass dude, like a 6'4", jump ball type guy, obviously. Um, he's been on the shorter end, but like I said, I thought he's pretty well filled out. He doesn't look – he doesn't look – oh. He doesn't look like he get hurt. Um some of these kids, it's like you're going to take one hit from an NFL, from a college safety and, uh, you know, be out for the rest of the camp or whatever. Jeez, sorry. Uh, five on the change of direction. I thought that was his best trade. Five on the burst as well. I'm going to give him a four on the ball skills, four on the sh long speed, five on the short area quickness. He's graded out to 76. He's a real he's a real good player. I know he's going to grade out. Um, I'm just getting to the point where I've already watched all, like, the five stars, like the top, 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 top dudes, but – this kid's a good receiver in his own right for sure, and uh, like I said, he benefit of having a good, good uh, quarterback. And you know, a lot of times that helps. That helps having uh, helps the other kids, you know, because people are there watching the quarterback, and then all of a sudden you see this kid making every catch or whatever. Uh, he's a good player, though. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Uh, anybody else you want me to do? Thank you.